of those bolts and also maybe like assassinate someone who's got a bolt to take it back for your team. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, I don't actually know which one I like. Ever since Daryl got a buff, it's been tricky to say. So. Daryl is dominant, but here they are rolling right in. Gene feeding in the center, and we've got Frozas versus Tanks on this side. Again, just what I was saying, Slash rolls in there. He's oh, not able to finish him not. off, though, just barely. No, he is not able to. It looks like it's a one, it's a two. two. Okay, so it looks like uh, we've got SSG. SSG's He's got that complete first boss. control. They've got complete control. They're going to get that third. So at level three bot, plus they have one and a second. Oh, oh, and that wow. kill right there is really going to help him. That's Not really, only yes. have they gotten every single bolt that's dropped, they've gotten kills at the right moment, and now they are pushing in. How much damage are they going to be able to do? Slash or Tupo gets a pull right there. Look at that. He opens up that wall. That's going to be very important. The boss is not going to do a ton of damage right here, but they already have the control of the center and three bolts. Tupo oh, right nice pull. Oh, he gets in and ends up getting pulled, but he's able to take out Crying Man just before he gets taken Ooh. out. Man, I tell you what, they were able to nice, Those really nice pulls. Oh, my goodness. And they finally started to bank a few bolts here. Three, and this will be their fourth one. They oh, need those. No, it looks like they may be able to get the. the you know what? It looks like Tribe's actually going to get some more bolts right here. So we'll see. All right, it is here comes barely one. okay. So level, they've got to make this happen right here. Oh. Otherwise, the other team so has a four and one. I don't lead. like the Crying Man just used his super, and it's not going to be able to take some of those shots from uh, the eye coming in. But let's see what they can do right here. Jack chevel has got that super built up. They're the boss is already on there, and they're just staying back. Keeping they're alive. content. Their whole goal there was to just regain control of the center, and now, they did that. whenever SSG comes back out of that spawn, they're going to see Tribe waiting for them in control. So if Tribe, here's the play, if Tribe can hold control, if they can keep it this way, they're going to have a great chance of winning, but they can't lose control. They gave up damage for control here. Yes, and that actually worked out very well for them. Look at that. Look five. at this. They're regaining. I think the Tribe has this right here. They've just got to have another push, and uh, I think that's going to be it for them. Nine bolts right here. Are they going to get 10? They got 10. Are they going to get... Bento's looking for a dive right there. A level 11 siege bot. This is not good for SSG Brazil. That bot gets pulled just a little bit by Tufa, but it does not end up happening. Tufa ends up getting taken out. The boss, they're, they're holding just, them up. They're wailing on that boss. It is a Look fist fight. Are they going to be able to hold it back? Tribe ends up in. taking the Slash. Note. Six seconds, and there, yeah, there we go. That is enough damage for them to get that victory. That was insane. What you saw there, the reason why Tribe was able to get that victory was because rather than going in with that second bot, they just focused on dealing a little bit of damage, regaining control of that center so that they could catch up to the bolt amount that the enemy team actually had, and they were able to basically double it. Yeah, and that may seem weird to a lot of players that don't play you know, the higher level stuff, yeah. is that you think, why aren't they going in to get that damage on the safe? Because, or this, I, it's because they, they gave up that. They knew they were going to get a little bit, but they knew that most important thing right here is that we have to control the mid. If we don't control the center, if we don't get these bolts, we're going to end up like we were at the very beginning of this game. So let it go. It'll do what it does, and we're going to hold this position. We are going to hold the fort. They shall not pass. We will get these bolts, and we will win it on the next push. Yeah, and on that last push, it was actually really crazy. You basically had all three teams, or all, all six players right around that boss. One team was trying to defend against the boss. The other team was just using it as a tank, as a shield so that they could actually deal damage. They wiped them, and that's not what you want. You do not want to get wiped when you got a boss coming down onto your Ike turret. Yeah, any kills that are happening right around when that, that uh, boss is spawning are a bad, bad thing. Yeah, you don't, you don't want that. <laughs> I mean, it's never good to die in general, but that's really bad timing because you either need to be there to push or you need to be there to defend. Yeah, so as far as like which Brawler's tribe is it? What, what changes? I think that that was... I mean, aside from a really great strategy by Tribe there and what they pulled off, the game was relatively close, I think. Yeah, it was closer was, than it seemed. What was really crazy there is we actually had Gene, who was doing a lot of pulls yeah. and using that pull in order for, you know, with the Ike to take out Brawlers. And they even did use it to get rid of some uh, of the walls and stuff like that. Hope so it looks go. like, okay, they're going with the tank comps. They they're, are. They're doubling down on their HP oh. and Poco with Decapo or Decapo, however you say it. This is something we haven't seen yet. Yeah, Poco's running to Capo. He is going to get two brawlers that have shields while he can spam them with shots, keep them healed up, and do just be almost unkillable in that way. It's going to be really hard. The, I mean, the enemy team, they've got a lot of HP as well, but Gene just lacks on that DPS. However, 
Gene does have that advantage of using that super to pull them onto the enemy side or onto their side so the, that the boss can actually. This is a very interesting strategy that they're going to try to employ. Is it going to pay off? Is it going to get them to the wow. semifinals? Crying Man getting that first kill right there. Toof is able to grab a bolt and is able to pull Crying Man over. Ooh. But Crying Man does deposit that bolt before he Shut gets up to falling. Mid, while he was being yanked through the air by that magic hand, the bolt flew back. Slash rolls in, grabs it. And we've got a tie Holy right here. So Right here is very important right here. The Jack Chapos, oh, T T T Beto ends up actually falling back. Very smart move on his part. We're three and three, but Tribe actually has control of the center here. Crying Man going in there with that Rosa is able Ooh. to do some damage, but Parzival is able to fall Shoves just Parzival far all the way back with 30 seconds. It looks like Tribe, unless something changes, Tribe is going to get this next bot. I think that they're going to. Now the question is, here's SSG has four. Are they going to push hard with this bot? They probably are because it's going to be a pretty sizable one. Yes. But they do, don't do need to overextend and not be able to hold control once again. You see Crying Man almost get pulled in there, but Jack Chapel ready matter. with his super to heal him up. That is excellent gameplay. Watching up your teammates. Holy They're going cow. for a massive push right here. This is going to feel bad. Is it going to be 16? 16 Siege Bot coming down. Oh, that the big not purple good. bot of death is charging at SSG. They have to take it down right now or their tournament hopes are over. Parzival pops the super, is holding him up, but he can't hold him up forever. No, they can't. Look at that. Look he at barely that. touches the eye. 13% damage is all what they get out of a defense. level 18. That was insane. That, that Rosa and the bull and everything they used to just keep that bot pushed back. However, Tribe still has control of the center right here. This bot is going to be the deciding factor, and Tribe is oh, once again. SSG cannot sniff the center. They just can't get out. They can't push him out. This Look at that crying man gets pulled into the same area. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he gets healed by his teammate with the shield. Crime this man. is it. Dominating. This is it. It looks like Tribe is going to take them down right Look here. Look at that. He tries to just push a little bit, but it's not enough Another damage. Siege bot running down there, and this is going to be the end of the tournament hopes for SSG. Oh, my goodness. Well played, that... but this strategy that they just employed was brilliant, and they executed it flawlessly. And right now, Tribe is going to take the win, and they are going to move on to the semifinals and bank another $12,000 in their team's pocket. <laughs> Look at the faces. They are so ecstatic about this. Talk about a great victory. You know, it was for each of the set, it was two and two, but Tribe really did.